And now it's time for your viewer comments. Now let's begin with Fernando Mangino, 9773. I got the elusive call from my AD for a gold sky dweller, but just like you, I said no. I really didn't like it that much and told him that I would really wait for the right uh, watch to arrive. Um, this is in relation to my previous video regarding getting the call. And this sky dweller, the gold sky dweller, is one of the most complicated, if not the most complicated movement that Rolex has ever made in a gold case and bracelet, I assume. And this is like a tremendously beautiful watch. However, this is a watch that doesn't fit all wrists because this is, um, this really wears big. And on smaller wrists, this is even more gargantuan. So I don't know how big Fernando's wrist is, but it really is um, his decision whether he's going to take it or not and he decided not to he's going to look for or wait for that right watch to arrive Siddhantu Pad Y Pad Yai 3392 says bro any leak G-Shock arrangement redesign model any update no I didn't hear any new arrangements or any um, upcoming redesigns for the rangement the only the last report of the rangement that i found was that white and blue rangement the uh, save the earth collaboration that they always have every year sorry see the maybe next time gary nico 9872 says which one do you prefer tiso prx quartz or seiko 5 gmt very easy it's the tiso prx quartz because like what I said in the previous video, I already decided before I bought the PRX that I'm going to get it because of its bracelet. And when I wore both the quartz and the automatic version, the quartz really sat well with my smaller wrist than the automatic one, which is slightly thicker than the quartz version. And at the same time, it's I already had the plan to put it on a leather strap and I saw that uh, it's going to have a lot of use for my casual night outs if ever I wanted to go out with my family. Now the Seiko 5 GMT is also not that bad but I have a better GMT in the collection or in the drawer there with the uh, Nareide uh, GMT from Venezianico, the Saudi Arabia version. That is a much more stunning GMT in my opinion compared to the Seiko 5 GMT. And also, I really dislike that uh, friction fit um, bezel without the ratcheting action. It's just, um, it, it doesn't sit well on me. I know that many GMTs are like that, but I didn't like that uh, feature. Robert Little Hawk 7713 says, If only it came with a bigger wrist for people like you and I. Yeah, I mean, like, why don't they make that? Prosthetics, prosthetic wrists for bigger watches so that the proportions of the watch would fit well with that prosthetic wrist of yours. Let's have it the other way around. Instead of fitting watches on our wrists, let's make or adapt our wrist based on the watch size. So maybe then you have a reason to wear that Invicta Zeus uh, that you have or that Invicta, Invicta Venom that you purchased a while back and just sitting there in your vault. User OV9ZW1KU4E says, Omega Rival is Rolex, Tudor is lower tier. Seems like there's this PR push by YouTube hypers to push Tudor beyond what it is. I don't know if um, Tudor is giving money to YouTubers. I certainly hope that one day I'll be one of those. Tudor, if you're listening, please me in that list I want that sweet Tudor sugar also I'm willing to review any Tudor whatever but that is right Tudor is the lower tier uh, sister of Rolex and Omega has been competing with Rolex and has had some success in certain areas but if you pit Rolex and Omega you still think that Omega's uh, tier lower 
or slightly lower than Rolex. I guess Rolex has a lot more refined and reserved design compared to Omega has always been trying to push as much as they could with the design area aspect and the collaborations that they have, which has, you know, they have more collaborations compared to Rolex. I mean, I've never even actually heard of Rolex collaborating with anyone except James Cameron. Okay, I don't want to turn this video into James Cameron centric all, again, all over again. Next is Clayton from the Watchdog Podcast 239. Having owned multiples of both, I would personally take the BB58 over the Seamaster Professional all day. Okay, so this is the other side of the coin, the other side of the argument. But basically, uh, Clayton explained why he thought of that. He said, honestly, I had QC issues with every single s and I've owned, misaligned bezels, etc. My neighbor has had the clasp issues with two different bracelets now. The push button springs are faulty. That is a well-known issue. More than that, though, for what I look for a dive watch, the SP doesn't hit the mark. Bracelet is uncomfortable and it doesn't taper. Bezel action is downright awful. It's all super subjective, of course, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, we, we welcome your opinion. Thank you so much, Clayton. It's also been uh, uh, one of the first subscribers of the channel. Thank you for your support. But the, the this latest Seamaster might be too expensive for for your budget i don't know for many people's budgets also but this one has a tapering uh, bracelet but then again it's a mesh bracelet um, it's really hard to compare the, actually tudor has them really good bracelets i've worn a couple of the uh, bb58s and also the delegos they are very comfortable on the wrist but it is amazing how unlucky uh, clayton is with regards to qc issues uh, i've never seen these so far and i've worn some seamasters smps um, on my frequent trips to our ad and actually that's the reason why i avoided or i took the smp off of the list because the more that i wore it the more that i hated it but not because it had qc issues which is kind of peculiar and i don't know where where they live even his neighbors having these um, issues so but then again not, not all watches typically have issues as well, but it's quite unusual to have them all in this one isolated area. Watch 62 says, Honestly, I've hated it for years, and I had hands on with one, and I fell in love with it. Okay, he, uh, Watch 62 here is talking about the helium escape valve. He really also hated that. And yeah, we've been talking about it. We have, it's well documented that many people hate that. But you know what? Sometimes when you see it on per, in person and you wear it, I actually didn't mind it. It's not really the thing that puts me off from the Seamaster. It's really the whole circumference of the case. It just sits too big on my wrist. So yeah, who knows? Try it if you can uh, on your local AD. Oleg Ivanov. 7988 says content becomes more and more interesting very cool new features in the videos mr designer fancy new skills thank you so much yes oleg is one of those early subscribers also we want to thank you for uh, loyally supporting our channel and yes we will continue to uh, make more content and try to keep up with youtube and the watch um, blogosphere but um yeah, I'm happy that you're still around. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't lost you. I've lost a lot of um, subscribers. And to their shame, if they come back, that's fine. Just don't remind me that you left. Or you'll be forever banned from the show. Yes, this is a show. I'm calling it a show now.